It is August 31st and we're over here at the two acre Brassica plot and I just wanted to give you guys an update on how this is doing and how it's looking. This is the Backwoods Buffet from Ravelin Hill Archery. Uh, this is the seed, the, a seed mix that they came up with with uh, Sinclairville Seed Company and this is absolutely incredible. Look at how luscious this whole two acres is. It's uh, I couldn't ask for it to, to look any better right now. You know, it's still got a lot of growing to do yet and it's already absolutely huge. As you guys can see, this is the edge of it right here. I planted the harvest salad from Real World down there in that quarter acre over the hill from here. So it's that's only been in for six days. I wanna go see uh, if we have germination down there. I'm gonna set up a cell cam on a post that I have down there as well. So let's go check that out next. We've got serious germination out here. Look at all this. Boy, this is coming up absolutely fantastic. Pretty much everything you can see out there is the uh, uh, oats and winter wheat coming up, I believe. The uh, winter peas will, uh, take a little bit longer to come up I think actually you can see so there's a pea right there that's starting to to come up you can see it's sprouting boy everything looks really good out here already this is coming up great I'm gonna go ahead and get a cell cam put on this post over here I can't believe this is how fast, <laughs> this has only been in for six days. Or I planted it six days ago last Sunday. Today's Saturday. Holy smokes. I put it on real thick in here too. With the grains you can get away with, with that. Everything's looking really good. We'll go ahead and get that camera switched right there and go check out uh, some of the other plots here. Just waiting for that blue light to come on steady and then we'll be connected. So now we're connected. I'll go ahead and get on my phone here. And we'll go to the app. And make sure that we're connected here. And there we are. So now I can take and traverse this camera and... and uh, Pretty much move it and be able to watch this entire food plot from corner to corner in the evenings which will be really nice it's a cam park connected with a solar panel keep good power and good sunlight right here those cameras are awesome for watching food plots let's go check the other plots out and see how they're doing right here's the old garden plot and uh, last year this was all corn and we got the Backwoods Buffet from Ravelin Hill planted this entire two acres right here. And this is looking absolutely fantastic. This is your brassica right here. And then this is a rape uh, right there, a radish. It's really looking incredible out here. This is really going to be able to uh feed an awful lot of deer the amount of the amount of food in this two between the four acres that of that backwoods that i planted between right here and over there the tonnage would be incredible when this is you know fully grown with the bulbs and how leafy it is that's going to be pretty awesome here are the four rows of gigantus miscanthus grass you can see it's all about four foot tall, I would say. Well, this one's already, this one's up to my chin. So that's over, over four foot. But it's growing really nice. And I think next year we're going to have a really nice Muscantus screen here. I'm going to get in here and spray these weeds still. I'm waiting for a, a 
less windy day to do it but we should be able to nail all these weeds that are growing amongst them here with that spray that we have but the miscanthus grass is doing good that was a lot of work planting that stuff but hopefully it'll it'll create years of uh screen for the spook plot in here we made it over here to the staging plot and this is coming up really nice as well over here as you guys can see got really good germination pretty much all over the plot it looks like man look at all the apples that are falling out of this tree holy smokes Boy, it's raining apples over here. There are a lot of apples on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and, we have a, some of these over here that need trims. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, I brought the pole saw with me and we're gonna get those trimmed. You can see all the little clovers coming up. That's what all those are, little clovers. Right here. Got really, at the end of the, I stopped right here with that spreader and there's a little bit of clover stuck on the edge of where it comes out of the spreader and I just dumped them out there. So that's why there's so many of them coming up right here. The seed rate is actually right out here, <laughs> but looks pretty freaking good to me. We're gonna grab that saw and get after these tops right here a little bit. So now we're back here at the stump three plot. It's about an acre in here and this is all looking like it's coming up really nice as well. Lots of deer tracks out here already. You can see there's really good germination out here. Lots of oats and rye coming up that you can easily see out here so looking good well i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up i just got the ground blind all brushed in for tomorrow morning tomorrow is september 1st and we've got some geese over on my cousin michael's property in sherman so we're gonna go over there and see if we can't shoot a couple in the morning so stay tuned for the next video, it's probably going to be a goose land video if everything goes right. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching, everybody.